And not long after yesterday's tragedy, Chief fans, players, political figures, and more took to social media to post reaction to yesterday's shooting. ABC 17's Gabrielle Tyner joins us live in studio this morning. And Gabrielle, social media was flooded from reactions from people all across the country. Erica, yes, there has been a lot of action on social media from officials trying to gather information, parade goers sharing details about their experience, and more. Governor Parson released a statement on X, formerly known as Twitter, saying their hearts go out to the victims and thanked Highway Patrol, KCPD, and security officers for their quick work to mitigate the situation. The Kansas City Chiefs also released a statement to multiple social media outlets stating they are truly saddened by the senseless act of violence and that their hearts go out to all involved. And all players, coaches, staff and their families were accounted for. President Joe Biden also released a statement last night stating, quote, the Super Bowl is the most unifying event in America and continued on to say, what else do we need to see? And it's time to act. He also went on asking Americans to stand with him to ban assault weapons, strengthen background checks, and keeping guns out of hands who have, quote, no business handling them. Trey Smith of the Kansas City Chiefs says he is angry over the senseless violence. Someone lost their life today. Um, you have children that are injured. You have children that are traumatized. I'm hurting for, one, the families and the people who got impacted, the city of Kansas City. Like Nia just said, the Kansas City Police Department is asking anyone who witnessed the shooting or has a video of it or was a victim that has not reported being shot to contact them. All right. Thank you, Gabrielle.